side note before we start, please can we get um, my first four shout outs, five more subscribers each. Those are just the first four to comment that they wanted to shout out on the video. So I'll be going in order from that, basically. So if you didn't get one today, you'll be in the next video. So yeah, let's get started to the video. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be trying to customise a Squishmallow. So um, this is like, I don't actually know what animal this is, but it's got sprinkles on it. And in the little description on its little tag thingy, it said that it loves sprinkles. So the only logical thing that I could do for this was to give it like a cupcake, um, because that's kind of sprinkle related. I don't really know. Um, and make it kind of like cupcakey kind of themed. So I know I needed, I didn't really have any brown felt left really. So I decided I had to use a cupcake case and um, frosting and I didn't know what colours to choose so I just brought the only ones that I thought would like look nice and I chose that kind of green that you can see in the corner and this purple right here, this purpley blue actually and then I decided to try and like draw out a shape that would um, not be too big because then it would look really obnoxious and weird having that there. So I just cut out like a little cupcakey thing just to make sure it fits before I cut out the second one. Um, so then yeah it fit so i decided that i needed to make the cupcake case as well so i needed to like fit i decided to try and like f i freehanded this part i tilted that bit like that how a cupcake case would be i'm presuming anyway and then i folded it in half just to try and really get the actual shape that it is like that and so it's slightly more symmetrical then i cut out some little triangles from it um, just to try and really just, you know, get that really cupcake feel in this thing. And then I fit it to my cupcake frosting and it fit perfectly fine. So I just needed to trim one bit actually, it didn't fit perfectly, almost. So I, then I did that and there we go. We've got my little, um, uh, sprinkle something. So, it did, it did come with a name, I just don't actually know what it is. It might be a hedgehog, though, because, like, that's what the sprinkles are pre representing or something. I don't really know. If you do know, put that down in the comments, please. Please. Um, but, now I'm just trimming out the second one, just to try and get it, just so then it would really just be the same on both sides, really. Um, and then I did the same with that so then i can stuff them and make them into like mini plushies almost no just not but still yes so once i'd finished cutting it out um which i did i wasn't okay so i was never really going to sew around all the individual triangles fact but i am cutting out the individual triangles though that is gonna happen so i was just doing that making sure they were both the same kind of size and then just making sure that it would all fit together. Making sure they were the right way round because you sew them inside out. So then you have like the stuff on the inside, like the pen and all that kind of stuff. All that nonsense. Making sure they fit. There we go. Putting them back together. Trimming them and just making sure that it was all good. And then it was. So once I'd finished, you know, pulling out little bits of it. Yes. Yeah, so Nox tripod. So then I got my... Um, this thingy that's got all my, what do you call it, thread in it, yeah, that, and just trying to select colours that would look good with the colour of felt that I had, and I know I could have chosen like a better fit or like black or white or something more or less normal or the brown to fit with the Squishmallow, but I chose kind of colours that would fit better, but anyway, I was having a lot of trouble getting the needle out of this needle thingy whatever holder, it was it wasn't going to fit and I couldn't really rotate it as well. Like, I could rotate it, but it wouldn't let me that well. And I was trying to knock it out with a sharp yellow pencil. And then I finally got one out. Finally. Well, I actually got three out. But, yeah. So, there's my needle. And then I got out my purple thread so I could do the frosting first. And, yes, there, there would have been one with a better match. But that was the one I decided to use because I thought it would look quite nice. And then just tying the knot in the end and all that kind of stuff that you got to do before you sew anything. Big brain, clearly. <laughs> no. But still, there we go. A very long piece of thread right there. Cutting off the excess thread at the end of the knot. Because, you know, that's always a pain in the butt to get the um, 
the knot to be on top of each other. Struggles of sewing. <laughs> and then I was just sewing it just like that. And I was having a really great time with this. Yeah, it definitely didn't keep getting tangled and I had to keep pulling it around. I didn't keep like, you know, getting it in the wrong place. And it, yeah, yeah, I definitely did not. <laughs> Laughs and definitely did. But still, it was great and all this kind of nonsense, um, of sewing it, and I tried, I, I didn't stab myself with the needle by accident, I didn't do that, this time I'm, I didn't, I mean it, I didn't actually stab myself with the needle, um, I was very careful not to do that, but yeah, I was trying to be quite neat with this, because I just really want to make it more neater and, like, nice, so I did make it neater and nicer. Well, at least I think I did anyway. Um, but I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, so there probably were better colours to choose from with the thread. But I'm pretty sure I just said that. I can't remember if I said that or not. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to say. So let's enjoy. Anyone who remembers this intro music? Great. we go my phone decided to stop recording after i'd stuffed the purple one and all that so we just have to make do with missing that part um it's st- it kept stopping recording even five seconds into a bit so yeah it was pretty annoying because i couldn't see what when it was recording so it ended up missing quite a bit of it which kind of sucks but you know what that's fine we, we still got a lot of footage from this so that's fine but I'm just finishing off sewing the little cupcake case together. Just, to, um, yeah, because we need to stuff it. And also because that was what I'm supposed to be doing with this. That's I'm sewing it because I need it to be sewed to turn it into what I need it to be done. Whatever, whatever. And yes, when I went to continue whatever I was doing, I forgot to knot the thread for the green one. So as soon as I pulled it through, it just came right out. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, oops. <sighs> the knots are exhausting. Uh, they're just so easy to forget, really. Like, really easy to forget. So, I was just sewing through them. I'm not really going around the holes that carefully and all that. Just making sure there was still, like, a little gap for the, su- the stuffing. So, I grabbed a little bit of stuffing and just tried to put it and just kind of, like, shoved it in there. While I said the stuffing, I suddenly had a flashback to that tv show like doc mcstuffin or something like that even though i swear i never watched that show i don't think i ever did um but it was something like that maybe i don't know why i suddenly had a flashback to it anyway moving back we're we're getting really far off here so then i decided to just sew around this and then i did kind of go a little bit around the triangles i guess just to try and like keep the stuffing in there now every time i say stuffing i keep thinking of that show oh my gosh um just trying to keep the stuffing in to make sure it wasn't all like you know falling out and all that kind of stuff because that is not what we want with our little cupcake thing even oh god even though in reality the little like frosting part is on the top of it anyway yeah 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 um kind of anyway so it wouldn't have really mattered and i probably didn't even need to sew that bit in the first place but you know extra security and strength for it very secure so then i was just like re-threading the needle because it came out and ended up far at the other end of the table which was um relevant but the fact is i i couldn't remember like where i was supposed to be kept keeping in the frame so i just realized what markings were on the paper and i tried to keep within those markings on the paper like that little squiggle right down there in the corner next to my hand and I had to draw a line at the top of where was out of the frame so I knew not to go out of it so I think for once I've been in the frame almost the whole time less than like doing the entire thing out of the frame pretty sure and that's good and the lighting in this video seems way better than usual so that's great 
But anyway, here's this. So I needed to now sew those two bits together just so then they're attached and then I can sew all together in one go. But this part was causing me difficulty because I was like really trying to get it to stay and then making sure my like my thread was getting really tangled and all this. And then I was just trying to get it to stay on there and it was being really difficult because it just it just was okay. And I did this was my least favourite part, I would say. The sewing, that was fine, and all the other kind of parts, they were fine. But this part was absolutely exhausting to do because it was just not cooperating with me. Just being really difficult, but I managed it last. And I did eventually manage to get this part done. And in reality, this was being done at such a slow pace. Most of this video was at like three to five times speed. Um, so I had to speed it up a lot just to try and, you know, not make this video last, you know, like, three hours long. Actually, I was never doing it for three hours, maybe, like, over an hour, though, at least. Oh, this is the part where I went out the frame. Great. Then I realised, like, oh, wait, oop, because, you know, yes. And I was just finishing off sewing it together, and the knot at the purple part, yeah, I, that, I couldn't get that any closer, so we've just got this big thing, but I did manage to hide that a bit. Um, and now I'm sewing it to the Squishmallow. This part was kind of terrifying me because if I cut off that part, I might have lost all my sew sewing, the whole thing, potentially. So then I'm just trying to sew it on. This part was really messily done because I was trying, but I couldn't really like get it done that easily. This part was quite hard to do, not gonna lie. This part was actually quite difficult to do neatly because obviously a Squishmallow is um, like softer and it's like 3D-ish, 3D, -ish, 3D uh, I don't know. But then here we go, it's all sewed on and now I've got my fabric paint. Five seconds later, I realised that it never recorded a thing that I just spent my time doing. Yay! <laughs> and then I basically added the little thread to the top um, not the thread, I cut off the key, the keychain part, but that thread I did end up cutting off too. Added some little drippy frosting, and I added, like, the colour of the, um, frosting to the felt, just to make it match better. And I was going to cut off the tag, but then I was like, actually, never mind, it's not happening. I can't use right-handed scissors, and my left-handed scissors will not cut through that. There's just no chance, none at all. But yeah, let's just try and move that out the way without getting it everywhere. So leave the video a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, turn on the bell so you never miss when I upload. Um, and if you got this far in the video, comment sand. I'm pretty sure that's what I thought at the time of filming this. I don't know why. I was just staring at some sand I'd found in the cupboard at, in the in like the cupboard where I keep my art supplies. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Bye.